Hey there, thank you for watching this clip on how to prove a trig identity. Whenever you have a trig identity looking like this, mixed with sine and cosine, that's basic ones, and secondary ones, tangent and secant, what you want to do is simplify all back into the sine and cosines. So here I'm writing down two definition almost. Okay. There's a shortcut if this one starts with S, this one is start with a C. They're always mismatched. Okay, so let's take a left hand side and put it back in there and let's see what we'll end up with. So on the bottom I have sine square theta and then cosine square theta. That's the tangent. Okay. Multiplying the reciprocal I'll have cosine square goes on top, one plus cosine theta, and then on the bottom I still have sine square of theta. Okay. Now here you can simplify more, but it'll be a lot more helpful if you go on to the right hand side and see what you have to deal with. So here I have a one over cosine of theta minus one. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by cosine theta. The reason I want to do that is I want to get rid of this stacked fraction over there. Okay, so on the top gets to be cosine square theta. On the bottom I have one minus cosine theta. Okay, now this one doesn't quite look at like the denominator on the left hand side. However, if you realize we're going to use one plus cosine theta if I multiply this, the reason I want to multiply its conjugate in that I want to use a different square. So combine those two, I'll have one minus cosine squared. This one is equal to one minus cosine theta times one plus cosine theta squared, cosine theta. Okay, the reason is that a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b squared. Okay, so if I do that, then I have cosine square theta on top multiplied by one plus cosine theta. And then on the bottom, I would have one squared minus cosine theta squared. And this one is actually using the identity. So on the bottom, I have sine square theta, which is happened to be equal to left hand side. Okay, so that's what complete the proof. All right, let's try another one that's fairly interesting. You know, this one starts with a uh, sine theta over one minus cosine theta and sine theta plus cosine theta. So this one is stacked to begin with. Okay, so let's take a look how we're doing those stacked ones. So we were supposed to prove this one is equal to sine theta plus cosine theta. Now if you take a look at this equation, the left hand side is far more complicated than the right hand side. Okay, so chances are what you want to do is you want to start with a complicated part. Therefore you can do more simplification here. Let's copy it down. So sine theta one minus cosine theta sine theta here plus cosine theta one minus sine theta cosine theta. Okay, so let's do the similar thing we did last time. Let's finish completing this one. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by sine theta. So sine square theta is on top. Okay, and then I have a sine theta minus cosine theta here. Once again, I just multiplied sine theta on top and the sine theta on the bottom. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do cosine theta times cosine theta here. Then I have cosine theta squared, or one of them. And then when I multiply this one in here, cosine theta gets left alone. And then this one cancels, so I have minus sine theta. So far it looks pretty good. Notice this one and this one, they only differ by a minus sign. So what I can do is combine them minus cosine theta squared. So this term basically I pull the minus sign out okay, and then that changes this sign. And then I have sine theta minus cosine theta. Okay, almost there. This one is a different square. If I have a squared minus b squared, that's equal to a minus b times a plus b. That's exactly what I'll do. Sine theta minus cosine theta and then I have sine theta plus cosine theta. 
the reason I want to split it up because I see on the bottom I have one of the terms I can easily cancel. Okay, so all I have left is sine theta plus cosine theta, which is exactly what we needed to prove because this is equal to the right hand side. Well, hope this has been helpful to you. This is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Join me. Together we can conquer math. Until next time, have a confident day.